A 2D shoot 'em up with some Cartoon Network vibes and some dashes of Star Fox? Oh, count me in. <laughs> One of the latest shoot 'em ups to hit the scene in the past week is a shoot 'em up called Bark or B Ark from TikTok Games. I've been having a lot of fun with this game, and it features a pretty cool art style and Saturday morning cartoon presentation with some fun gameplay, but it's a little slim on its offerings. First thing about this game you'll definitely notice is its presentation. Again, it has a pretty slick cartoon style that works well with the story they're trying to tell. Yes, this game actually has a story that you kind of want to pay a little bit of attention to, as it's a key part of the gameplay going on. The background story is pretty simple. A villainous group called Dark Tide has taken over planets in our solar system, and it's up to the members of Bark, otherwise known as Bio Interstellar Arc, to save the solar system. Yes. It's the pets to the rescue. We got a dog named Barker, a cat named Felicity, a bear named Lucio, and a bunny named Marv. And these four are going to save the solar system some way, somehow. Yes, it is pretty much the background for a cartoon. It makes total sense here. During the game, these four characters will interact with each other before a stage and after a stage. But more importantly, they will interact with each other during a stage, very reminiscent of Star Fox. As the story progresses, you'll see the characters make comments about the environment they're in, as well as the enemies they're facing and the events going on. It kind of keeps you a little bit involved. The only thing that is a little hard is because it's so much stuff going on with bullets at times, it's really hard to keep track of what they're saying in the corner sometimes you just you just miss it because there's just so much going on on the screen regardless it really adds to the presentation and again gives off that cartoon Saturday morning cartoon style that I really like about this game as far as gameplay goes it is a bit of a traditional shoot 'em up with a little bit of bullet hell mixed in especially on the boss stages and the levels kind of remind me of Gradius where often there's a couple different pathings during a screen and you see it divided up. You have to dodge enemies and obstacles. And speaking of dodging, there is a very important mechanic to this game and that is the dodge button that allows you to dodge in any direction, kind of like Velocity. If you remember that game from some years back? This mechanic is very important to master as the later bosses and levels really require you to use it. It's not too hard to use, but without it you will not beat the game. So you gotta get accustomed to it. The game does kinda teach you early on how to do it pretty easily and it does have a nice ramp up in difficulty where it's not like suddenly going from stage one to stage two and suddenly just being so ridiculously hard. There is a gradual increase in difficulty in this game, and I definitely appreciate it. You can also take quite a few hits before you die, which is nice. There is power-ups to get to ramp up your weapon's attack, as well as super weapons. Each character has their own different super weapon and ability. And speaking of characters, you have four to work with, as I mentioned before. Barker tends to be the traditional shooter as well as Lucio has explosive bullets, Felicity the cat has a spread shot, and Marv has the homing bullets. I liked all four characters, but Marv is a little bit underpowered. Now he does have homing bullets, which is nice, but I found those bullets to be so weak compared to everything else that it was really hard to use him in single player experience. I almost feel like he really does need kind of a little bit of buff and maybe with a future update they can address that. This game also features up to 4 player couch co-op which is amazing. It reminds me a lot of Aegis Wing for the Xbox 360 back in the day. If you remember that game had 4 player co-op and that definitely improved the experience for the game. And here if you can get a bunch of people together this is a perfect 
multiplayer game. One of the few shooters that actually allows for more than just two people on a screen at any given time. Content wise, there is just six levels with a boss rush stage added after you beat the game. Each stage features three difficulties and for shoot 'em up vets you will blow through normal and even shoot 'em up newbies will get by with its leniency of checkpoints and health refills. There is some encouraged replaythroughs with the amount of characters that you're given, four different characters, as well as those hidden memories to discover. There's one in each stage that adds a little bit more to the story. The harder difficulties are where it's at, and those can be challenging but fair. I had a lot of fun learning the attack patterns and each stage feels different and brings something new for the player to experience. I just feel at just six stages it goes by all too quickly and needed a little bit more to add to the table. Don't get me wrong, I really like the game and its charm and its levels, just for a single player experience it seems a little light. It's great for multiplayer and party game sessions and if you have younger kids this definitely could be a nice game night game to hang out with the family. Bark retails for MSRP of $9.99 and is available for the PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and PC. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps out this video and this channel. Also, consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. I do a bunch of videos on this channel as well as streams each and every single week. I also like to give a shout out to the Kaiju Club Patrons. These guys you see on screen, they help to finance this channel, help to finance these videos. They allow me to bring games and videos to you guys for review as well as content. If you would like to become a patron and get shout outs during each video as well as streams each and every week, you can join at patreon.com backslash gamecamiller and pledges start at just one dollar. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time.